Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am sitting here looking all festive because I'm going to a party. And I'm wearing my festive Christmas blazer. I'm gonna get my use out of this blazer. Um, but I've just come here to tell you my favorite products of November. So we're just gonna get into the video. If you would like to see, please keep watching. Okay, so the first product I have is this hair straightener. This is by Duval. Um, it's the Professional Flat Iron Impulse Hair Straightener. It is your standard hair straightener. It goes all the way up to 450 degrees. So basically this company reached out to me. They asked me if I wanted to try one of their cleansing spinning brushes and I was honest with them. I just said, no, I don't. I sound like an asshole. I have my Foreo, which I really love, and I also have my Clarisonic, so I was just like, you know what, I don't need another cleansing brush. Thanks, but no thanks. But then I was like, my straightener, my straightener that I have is absolute crap. So I saw that they do sell straighteners, so I took a chance, and I was like, well, I don't want your cleansing brush, but how about your hair straightener? And they sent me the hair straightener. Don't know how that happened, but thank you. Because this is a great hair straightener. I'm gonna leave a code down below in my description bar. It basically, it discounts the hair straightener so it's super affordable. But honestly, the one I had before did not straighten my hair. This easily like glides through my hair, it makes it pin straight and it stays pin straight. You can also do curls with it. I kind of did some on this side today. Just ran it through, gave it some beachy waves, but I really do like it. I think for the price, it's definitely affordable and it does an amazing job. So, if you need a new hair straightener, check out this company because it is pretty good. So, I was talking to you about my face cleansing thingy-majig. So, this is the Foreo. Can you hear that? It's the sound of vibration. It is for your face, you perverts. Basically, this is just a little cleansing device. It's a handheld cleansing device. I leave it in my shower. So, when I wash my face at night, I put a pump of soap and I just massage it into the face. I love it. It cleans my face amazingly. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. So if you do travel a lot and you don't want to take your Clarisonic or your other cleansing devices, this is a great option for you. It's compact. It does the job. I really like it. I think it's really great. And next I have something very random, but I just want to talk to you about it. It's the Live Clean Vanilla Oatmeal Liquid Hand Soap. It's 98% plant ingredient eco-friendly. This stuff is amazing. So usually I only use Bath & Body Works hand soap, but I was given this as one of like a little bridal shower present. It came in a box. So obviously I tried it out. This is amazing. And the reason why I'm mentioning it, it's amazing for cleaning your beauty blender. Like my sponge has never been cleaner and I really do like the smell. So I think if you're looking for an affordable little beauty sponge cleaner, this is great and it's natural. So check this out because it's really good. Next up, I have this hair mask. This is the Phyto Millicimine. Oh Christ, I don't know. It's by Phyto and it's called the Color Enhancing Mask for color treated hair and highlighted hair. So I have like a little sample jar. I got four uses out of this. So this mask, the reason why I'm gonna mention it is it's not a mask that you put in that makes your hair feel like complete silk. Like you know when you put some hair mask in the shower and you work it through your hair, your hair feels like butter? This one doesn't do that. So at first, when I first use it, I'm like, what is this? This is like probably, this probably sucks. But ever since I've used this, I use it every time I wash my hair. So I've used it about four times before it ran out. My hair has never been straighter and silkier. When I blow dry it, it goes pin straight and it's so silky. So I highly recommend this mask. I think it's great. I don't even know what it's supposed to do. Color enhancing, color treated. I don't know. All I know is that this makes my hair go really, really straight, takes away the frizz and it stays that way. So I like it. Okay, then I wanna mention this. I've mentioned this before, but I haven't used it. I stopped using it and I'm back on it. So basically all this is, is the Jergens moisturizer for wet skin. And this is the coconut oil one. It is unbelievable. I am lazy. So the reason why I rebought this was because I wasn't moisturizing my body after I got out of the shower and my legs were sandpaper. So I'm like, okay, I gotta either force myself to moisturize after, but then I get so tired and I just go to bed. And then I wake up like sandpaper. So I rebought this. You just use it in the shower. You turn off the water after you're done, apply it all over your body to a wet skin and you get out and your skin is hydrated all day long. I really do enjoy this and I really highly recommend it, especially if you have dry skin and you're lazy like me. I also have this cleanser I've been really, really loving from Neostrata. I've been using it on my Foreo uh, in the shower. This is the Enlighten Ultra Brightening Cleanser. So it comes out like a really, really thick paste. 
you only need a dot that is it and it just foams up and cleans your face it helps brighten your face but I get a great clean with this it doesn't break me out so I highly recommend this if you're looking for a cleanser it's a great value it's also 200 ml so this will last you a while because you only need a pea size amount so I highly recommend this and another product that I have from Neostrata which I've been really really liking is their smooth surface glycolic peel pads with 10% AHA um, there's 36 pads in here it comes in a little kit at the drugstore it is a little bit pricey you take the one side you pour it in over the pads and then basically you have soak pads with your 10% AHA it does a great job at exfoliating it tingles a little bit when you're working it onto the face but it does remove all your dead skin cells it helps with your pores um, to be honest with you I really love their original peel that that's kind of what replaced the peel is this guy I, I kind of like it better this is still great I think it's more user friendly and I think it's great if you travel a lot the other peel though I really loved it that, that was the liquid one that you just massage into your face that one was phenomenal but this also does a great job at resurfacing your skin so I do recommend these guys the next product I have is the Dermalogica. This is the Overnight Repair Serum. This stuff is so good. It's an oil. It has a million ingredients in it of oils. So I was kind of nervous to try it because I didn't know if it was going to break me out, but it doesn't. It is amazing. It smells like a tree. It smells like a forest. I was like, you belong in the woods, but it's amazing. You need three to four drops. You work it all over your face. You can mix it in with your creams if you're dry. I have combination skin, especially in my T-zone. I'm very oily. This did not break me out. I wake up in the morning. I look radiant. My skin is super hydrated, so I've been really liking this. They have one for the day as well that I've been not really trying out because I wear so much makeup during the day that it's way too dewy it's too moisturizing for me so I did try it once and my foundation just looks super dewy but it's not what I like I like to be more mattified but it's really good it is good but I'm all about the overnight repair serum because this is repairing my skin and making it look super radiant then we have this little miracle product and this is phenomenal if i think if i actually use this properly my results would be even greater than what they are this is the juviance lash fx it is good okay so on this eye i had like zero eyelashes right in this space and i don't even know what happened i basically there's there no eyelashes it was a hole so i started using this i had this and i haven't tried it so i broke it out i'm like let's start using this because some eyelash growers make my I super irritated so I was kind of nervous but this one does not so basically every night before I go to bed I just put a line like an eyeliner and I go to sleep my eyelashes within five days the hole was gone it was gone my eyelashes have never been better so I'm thanking this I think this is unbelievable and the reason why I haven't been using it properly because in the morning you're supposed to use there's a lash little mascara primer so I haven't been using that but it is full of the nutrients that you need to grow the lashes so I think if you're on a mission if your lashes are very small or brittle and if you're on a mission do obviously both sides do this in the night and then then do this in the day personally I would just rather have a whole tube of a lash serum and rather not this side but I think I should start trying this side out because if my results would double then I would be super impressed so I always wanted to buy this, but I never did for myself. So thank you so much to Amanda, my friend, for buying me this for Christmas. And I've been using it ever since. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. It has 35 colors in it. Everybody knows this, I feel. Um, very affordable. It's, I think it retails for under $50, but you do get a lot of shadow. Now, I've been using this for basically three weeks like every single eye look I've been doing, but I've been focusing more on the brown kind of top part of the palette here. Today, it played me. It played me like a fool a little bit because I have one beef with this palette. So today I used the dark shades down here, all four of these dark shades, and I was trying to do a halo eye, um, tapping it in the inner and the outer. Honestly, it just did not work. So love it for the neutrals, love it for the sparkly kind of shades, but for the darker shades, I don't know. Like this is like a love-hate right now because today was the first day I used the darker shades and... Um, yeah, like when I when I blended them, they just disappeared. And then when I tapped them on, they were not even. And I had a hard time blending out the bottom portion of my eye, which was really pissing me off. Almost ruined my Christmas holiday spirit. But it didn't. Can't let that get me down. But yeah, I do think it's great. But these four little dark shades down here, I don't think I don't think they're good. And here is my last product of the day. This will be it. I have sage rollers so one i absolutely love and the other one i will never wear ever again in my life so let's just talk about the one i love i absolutely love the peppermint halo this is amazing so before i go to bed um 
I get really super bad tension headaches. I'm assuming that's what they are. I've been to the doctor many times for them. They've tried to give me like crazy pills for my headaches, which I'm not, I'm not taking. The doctor gave me um, these little pills at one point and I took them home and I, you know, I was taking them and they weren't doing anything. I took them for like a week and I'm like, this is not working. I actually looked them up on the internet and they were like a low dose antidepressant. Like, why am I on a low dose antidepressant when I'm not depressed, number one? And I get that these like medications do different things. They help people in different ways. But it's like, if I'm not depressed, I really don't want to be taking medication. I just, I don't want to be taking medication, period, unless I really have to take it. So I try to do natural alternatives. And um, basically, I've done everything. I've had chiropractic stuff done on my neck to try to get rid of my headaches. Um, it's a lot of things that I've done because I really don't want to go to the route. I've changed my diet because a lot of the foods I was eating was giving me a headache, the histamine release. So anyways, that's a long story. That's another video. But basically, I've been using this for headaches at night. Every single night before I go to bed, I take this little peppermint roller. I roll it behind both ears. I, I smell like a peppermint tree, basically. Roll it down my neck and on my temples, and I'm telling you, this is I hardly get headaches this has made a huge difference for me and I highly suggest it so if you suffer for headaches try buying the sage peppermint halo remedy because I really love it and then I was there and I thought wow why not try this one this is the sleep well restful sleep remedy who doesn't like a good sleep and you can put this on the bottom of your feet but the first time I used it I rolled it all over my body this smells like wilderness at its finest like I can't I can't. This m made my whole bedroom smell. My sheets, I had to wash the sheets like I could not handle this. So I'll be giving this away to somebody who really wants it because I cannot use it. I even rolled this on the bottom of my feet. Ooh. So maybe you don't want this because I did roll it on my feet. Yeah, I'm not giving this away. Um, I'm going to keep this, but I, I just maybe I'll just throw it out. But I was rolling it. They say to roll it on the bottom of your feet for a slower release. And even on my feet, I couldn't handle it. So this is a big ass pass for me. All right, well, this is it. This will be the end of my November favorites. I really do hope you guys did enjoy this video. And as always, if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, bye.